You feel like your calibration's good? Okay. Debbie Lopez was diagnosed with ALS in 2019. The neurodegenerative disease has no cure and gradually causes muscle weakness and loss of control. Debbie's symptoms began in struggles with movement, feelings of weakness, and muscle spasms throughout the body. Over time, Debbie would lose her ability to speak, but with the help of AI technology, she's found her voice once again. I had been suffering in silence, but I felt it was time to talk about what I was going through, and I wanted everyone to be on the same page. Ahead of her official diagnosis, Debbie took to YouTube, creating a platform called Living with Lemons, where she shared the course of her journey. Her room at Monroe Community Hospital is now decorated with lemons, and her doctors and nurses have even taken to the theme. Jamie Spencer is a speech pathologist at MCH and has worked side by side with Debbie, navigating a communication device funded by the hospital's foundation and free AI software provided to ALS patients through a nonprofit called Bridging Voices. <laughs> through the support of the foundation, we were able to have two eye gaze devices purchased for us to use. Um, Debbie came in with her own device from the community, and from there they were able to clone her voice and be able to provide that lifelike emotional connection to who she is all through AI. They were able to replicate her rhythm. They were able to replicate her prosody, her pitch, her rate to sound identical to who she is at her core. Over the last few months, Debbie has been able to truly connect with her three kids once again. Anything she types into the device can be spoken in words of her own. It had been over four years since they had heard Deb as Deb. And now whenever they walk in, they can hear Deb again. They can see Deb's vibrant and joyful personality and they can hear that connection through her voice clone um, to be able to put that piece of the puzzle back for her has been incredible. And in the face of adversity, Debbie and her care team always make time for a little bit of fun. I want my story to inspire people to have faith. Our time here is brief, but not without purpose. My prayer for everyone is to be encouraged, to be compassionate even when you feel at your worst. ALS is a destroyer, but you can still live a legacy spreading joy. Reporting in Brighton, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.